Tashtalik, this is Tibet This Week, a weekly feature in English that tells you about this week's news on Tibet, His Holiness the Dalai Lama and the Central Tibetan Administration. Today's headlines. His Holiness the Dalai Lama has the highest consensual moral authority, says former Indian minister. President of Central Tibetan Administration seeks support for middleware approach in New Zealand and Australia. Sikong speaks on his vision for Tibet with ABC National Radio. Members of the United States House of Representatives call for concrete actions for the rights of Tibetans. University of Wyoming hosts talk on history of Tibet. Reports from overseas offices of Tibet. His Holiness the Dalai Lama was awarded the Professor M. L. Sonthi Prize for International Politics 2016 last Thursday in New Delhi. Addressing the gathering of mostly high-profile Indians, His Holiness called for the people to bring positive changes wrong. in the world through action and with clear vision. Now it is human, humanity's responsibility to change that, not through preaching, not through prayer, but through action in order to carry realistic, holistic action, firstly, we must develop clear vision here. Uh, and not only mere just a vision, we need uh, as a determination. Speaking on Rising India, His Holiness said the country is an example of existence of religious harmony and that coming into exile uh, has been a blessing in disguise for it has provided him with a lot of opportunities to learn. Veteran Indian journalist and country's former minister Arun Shori said His Holiness the Dalai Lama not only richly deserves the award but conferment of the award to His Holiness honors the award. Uh, in almost every case, when an award is conferred on a person, the person is honored. But in the rarest of rare cases, when a person accepts an award, the award is honored. Speaking on His Holiness's eminent intellectual contribution to the discourse on frontiers of politics, Shori remarked that His Holiness is the world's living treasure and has the highest moral consensual authority. He has no army, he has no air force, he has no aircraft carriers, but when he goes from one place to the other or says one sentence to the other, the whole Chinese government reacts. <laughs> Former Foreign Secretary and former Ambassador Lalit Man Singh said His the Holiness remains the biggest spiritual and political of mentor of Professor Sondhi and that the prize honors His, his Holiness's geopolitical thinking, including nuclear proliferation. Appreciating His Holiness's tireless effort in bringing peace to the world, the event organizer, Mrs. Sondhi, recalled late Professor Sondhi's reference to His Holiness as the catalyst of Indian Renaissance. The President of Central Tibetan Administration, Dr. Lobsang Senge, in his maiden visit to New Zealand, sought support for the middle way approach to resolve the Tibet issue. Speaking to the reporters about his visit, Si Kyung said that the situation inside Tibet is tragic and he is in the country to call on its people to rally behind Tibetans in their quest for freedom and dignity. Si Kyung further emphasized on the Tibetan administration's firm commitment to the middle way approach that seeks genuine autonomy for the Are Tibetan people under the framework of the Chinese the constitution. Now. Historically, Tibet was an independent country. Even China has recognized that. So it is under occupation. But the Chinese government says sovereignty and territorial integrity of China is non-negotiable. So His Holiness Dalai Lama is saying, okay, we will respect the sovereignty and territorial integrity and unity of the motherland, but give us genuine autonomy as per Chinese laws and within China. So that's a reasonable middle way of two sides. During the four-day visit to the Kiwi countries, Dr. Senge continued his effort to shore up support for the middle way approach in the cities of Auckland, Dunedin and Wellington. Prior to his New Zealand visit, Si Kiong took part in 9th Festival of Tibet in Brisbane, Australia and spoke about his vision for Tibet with ABC National Radio's Paul Barclay. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Honorable Si Chung 
Dr. Lobsan Senki and Mr. Paul Buckley. China wields a lot of influence, uh, strategic and economic, in a country like Australia. There are good people in Australia who are supporting us, who are with us, and also a small message to Beijing. Mm -hmm. Ah, Tibetans are here, we are with them. You might be more rich and more powerful, but the truth will prevail. Rugged spirit of Tibetan mm -hmm. people, resilient spirit of Tibetan people will prevail in the end, because we are with you. That's the message to be given. On Tuesday this week, the United States Congressman Jim McGovern and Congresswoman Ileana Ross Lettinen drew attention to the deteriorating human rights situation inside Tibet in the House of Representatives. Three Displaying a large the portrait Lama of His Holiness the Dalai the Lama, the representatives Pajit urged Pajit the Trump administration Today, to appoint a special coordinator for the Tibetan issues. Congressman McGovern encouraged the country's Secretary of State to meet with the President of Central Tibetan Administration, Dr. Lobsang Senge, and to help engage other Tibet, governments not the to Panchi create Lama a group of friends of Tibet. Lama. Mr. Speaker, I constantly receive reports from Tibet of human rights abuses and affronts to basic human dignity, like the demolition of buildings and forced eviction of religious people from the famous Buddhist Institute of Larangar, or the restrictions that keep Tibetans from traveling around their own country, much, much less abroad. We need to rethink U.S. policy toward Tibet. Congresswoman Ross Lattinen expressed her unhappiness about the fact that His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama has been unable to return to his homeland for over 58 years and that the Thank Tibetan so much, people Mr. are deprived Speaker, of their basic human rights and freedom and that the implementation that of Chinese government's policies heart, would wipe out the, the entire culture of Tibet. Of Tibet. Of she is Holiness, also concerned the that Dalai the issues Lama. of Tibet are being forgotten. Known as the roof of the world, the Tibetan Plateau is the source of many of Asia's major rivers, making the Chinese regime's threats to Tibet stability a strategically important security issue for the entire region. The director of the Tibet Museum of Department of Information and International Relations, Tashi Pinzok, spoke on the history of Tibet at the University of Wyoming last Tuesday, focusing on correcting the historical narrative that exists in China by demonstrating the long-term independent status of Tibet within its borders and in relation to the global diplomatic community. Members of European Parliament, including the Chair of Subcommittee on Human Rights, Pierre Antonio Panzeri, Chair of Tibet Interest Group, Thomas Mann, Members of Tibet Interest Group, Sabah Sogor and Tuni Kalem, along with Representative Tashi Pinzok of Office of Tibet Brussels, took part in a solidarity campaign for Tibet in Belgian capital, calling for the international intervention to address China's repressive policies in Tibet. So much for this week. Thank you for watching Tibet This Week.